Hi, this is the problem. Determine the work done in carrying minus 2 microcoulomb charge from P1 to P2 in electrostatic field E is equal to Y AX plus XA Y volt per meter. We have two paths are given along the parabola X is equal to 2 Y square and along the straight line joining P1 and P2. So this is the problem we have to answer. So now what is the work done form? I very say okay. This problem is based on the work done. The work done formula is given by work done in moving a charge Q in an electrostatic field is given by minus Q into integral the point where we have to move from point P1 to P2 in an electrostatic field E dot dl. This is the formula which I am going to use to solve this problem. What is this formula? The formula is W is equal to minus Q into integral P1 to P2 where I am taking the charge from Q P1 to P2 in this electrostatic field E dot dl. Now let us find out what is E dot dl in this formula E dot dl. So what is E is given as y a x plus x a y dot dl in Cartesian coordinate system is dx a x plus dy a y plus dz a z. So it will come out as y dx plus x dy. Now, so first, so we can substitute this here e dot dl y dx plus x dy. Now let us answer the first question along the parabola. It is given that the point from point P1 to P2 we move along the parabola along the parabola. So what is the parabola given? Y x sorry x is equal to 2y square 2y square. In this equation differentiate this equation dx is equal to it will come out as 4y dy. Now let us change the equation e dot dl e dot dl in terms of y so therefore this e dot dl will come out as y into what is dx dx in this formula is 4y dy plus x you substitute 2y square into dy so which will come out as 6y square 6y square dy now you can substitute this e dot dl in this formula so therefore work done in carrying since the charge is given minus 2 microcoulombs minus into minus plus 2 into 10 power minus 6 into integral what is e dot dl come out as 6y square dy since it is only y so y is varying from you can see that in the given points in the given points p1 and p2 y is varying from 1 to 2 so therefore y is varying from 1 to 2 we can make it as 12 into 10 power minus 6 into y cube by 3 the integration of y square is y cube y cube the limits are 1 to 2 so it will come out as the work done will come out as so this will come out 7 this will come out 4 4 into 7 is 28 28 micro joules so this is the work done in moving the charge q from p1 to p2 along the parabola given parabola now the second point is given as that now we move from p1 to p2 along the straight line joining p1 and p2 let us what is p1 the p1 is given as 2 1 minus 1 and p2 is given as 8 2 minus 1 in this consider that z is same now find out the strike line between 2 1 and 8 comma 2 find out the strike line between 2 comma 1 point and 8 comma 2 point so what is the slope slope is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 6 so taking this point 2 comma 1 and slope 1 by 6 what is the equation of strike line y minus 1 is equal to m 1 by 6 into x minus 2 so which will come out as y minus 1 is equal to x by 6 minus 1 by 3 which will come out as y is equal to x by 6 plus 2 by 3 if you differentiate this dy will come out as dx by 6 now let us substitute this 
list this in this equation e dot dl is equal to y dx plus x dy so therefore e dot dl is equal to y y what is y y from this formula is x by 6 plus 2 by 3 into dx plus x dy x into what is dy dx by 6 so this is x dx by 6 so x by 6 x by 6 will become x by 3 so therefore if you take common x by 2 plus by 3 into dx so this is e dot dl now substitute in the work done formula work done is minus q minus uh, charge is given minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 into 10 power minus 6 what is e dot dl x plus 2 by 3 you take it 3 outside into dx in the what is x is varying from the x is varying from 2 to 8 in this formula the x is varying from 2 to 8 in this formula so now substitute these things in this equation 2 into 10 power minus 6 by 3 into the integration of x is x square by 2 integration of 2 is 2x the limits are 2 to 8 if you substitute these limits 2 into 10 power minus 6 by 3 into the first integration is 64 by 2 32 plus 16 the lower limit will come out to a minus 2 so this will come out as this will come out as 28 micro joules this will come out as 28 micro joules from these two answers from these two answers you can check that the work done is independent of path taken in an electrostatic field this is a very very important sentence the work done is the work done is independent of independent of path taken in electrostatic field this is a very very important sentence the workman is independent of the path taken so this is the answer for this given problem thank you